Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to calculate the break-even point in the consulting case studies. In this video, I'm going to show you three examples. The first one is how to calculate the break-even point of a fixed cost investment. The second one is how to calculate a break-even point of a price cut. And the last one is the break-even point of a variable cost increase. So now let's look at the first, the break-even of a fixed cost. To figure out how to calculate the break-even point, we have to know what the break-even point means. So basically it means that revenue is equal to the cost. So the revenue can be divided into the quantity and price. So now we get the quantity times price equals the fixed costs plus the variable costs. So now we can also get the following equations, which give us the quantity times price minus variable cost is equal to the fixed costs. Now I want to highlight an important concept, which is the contribution margin. The contribution margin is equal to the revenue per unit minus variable cost per unit. So now let's take a look at the first example. So we invested four billion in producing a drug and wanted to break even with five years. And assume that the variable costs to produce each unit of drug is negligible. And each year we can sell four million units of a drug. So how much should we price our drug? So as we know, the quantity within five years is four million times five which give us 20 million. Fixed cost is 4 billion pounds. And the variable cost, because it's negligible, so we assume it's going to be like zero. So if we use the equation, we'll get the 20 million times price minus zero is equal to 4 billion. This gives us the answer for the price is 200 pounds. And now let's take a look at the second example and how to calculate a break-even point when a price decreases. And what does this mean? Well, the break-even analysis of price cut, it estimates the increase in sales volume needed for a price cut in order to have a neutral impact on profitability. So to break even, the lost profits resulting from a lower margin after a price cut must be equal to the additional profits generated by the incremental sales volume from the lower price. And the equation we can use is the break-even volume when, it, when the price is cut equals the margin for the old price divided by the margin for the new price. Okay, so let's take a look at the second example. So let's assume that the impact of a price cut from £100 to £75 for a product with a variable cost of £50. So to break even, how many sales volume should they be? So we can just use this equation. Now we know the margin order price equals 100 minus 50, which gives us 50. And the margin new price is 25. So therefore, the break-even value for the price cut is 50 is divided by 25, which is 2. So this means, so for the price cut to break even, our sales volume should double at the lower price. So just to remember, the 2 is a ratio of the old price margin to the new price margin. So some of you may don't understand what the equation means and where it's from. So now let's take a look at a traditional way to calculate that. It takes time, so if, but if we know it, we will know where to get this equation. So the new profit is equal to the old profit. So if we know how to calculate the new profit and the old profit, and then we will get the equation that we just saw. So for the last example, how to calculate the break-even point when the variable costs increase. What does this mean? Well, 
The break-even analysis of a variable cost increase, it estimates the increase in sales volume needed for a variable increase in order to have a neutral impact on the profitability. And to break even, the lost profits from a variable cost increase must be equal to the additional profits generated by the incremental sales volume. In order to solve the problems like this, we can use this equation. The break even point volume for the variable cost increase is equal to the margin of old variable cost divided by the margin of the new variable cost. So now let's take a look at another example. So if we know the drug was priced at 200 pounds, and the variable costs increase from 100 pounds to 120, so what will be the break-even volume? So first, we need to calculate the margin for the old variable cost, which gives us 100 pounds. And now let's, let's move on to the margin of the new variable cost which is 80 pounds. So therefore, the break-even volume of a variable cost increase is 100 divided by 80, which is 1.25. So now let's interpret what this number means. So this number means for the variable cost increase to break even, the ratio of the new to old sales should be 1.25. This means the sales volume should increase by a factor of 25%. So these three examples is what you should expect in the consulting case studies. And I hope you have a better understanding of what kind of break-even points questions will there be and how to calculate them. Cheers.